Okay, so there's a, a relatively new band called Dirty Loops that I'm kind of excited about. Uh, it's three guys from Sweden, a bass player, a keyboard player, and a great drummer named Aaron Mellergaard. And uh, this band, they play pop music, but they all have ridiculous chops and they don't dumb down the pop music. They really just, you know, they play very danceable, fun music, but every once in a while you hear just like a crazy explosive over the top drum fill or some bass solo or, you know, some screaming vocal. Just really, really some good music. You should check it out if you get a chance. Uh, Dirty Loops, their most current release is called Loopified. Uh, the film I'm going to show you today comes from the song called Sayonara Love. And it's just a two beat long fill. The fill is played at 16th triplet speed. Okay, that's the first thing you need to know. Um, 16th triplets, if you're not familiar with 16th triplets, 16th triplets are a triplet in each half of the beat. Okay, so if the beat is one, two, three, four, and we cut that in half, one and two and three and four, and, and then we further subdivide into triplets, one triplet, and triplet, two triplet, and triplet, three triplet, and triplet, four triplet, and triplet. Okay, so that's the speed of 16 triplets. And I do suggest that you learn how to verbalize 16 triplets. It's not easy, but I really believe that if you can say it, you can play it. Okay, so give it a try. One triplet, and triplet, two triplet, and triplet, three triplet, and triplet, four triplet, and triplet. If that's too much of a tongue twister, try one and a, one and a, two and a, two and a. By the way, I, I should say this slower. I am saying one trip let and trip let. Okay? Or the other option, like I said, is one and a, one and a, two and a, two and a. Some people like to say that. You know what? It really doesn't matter. Pick three syllables. Bugada, 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 bugada. That works. Any three syllables so that you can verbalize this so that you can really have a clear conception of what 16th triplets sound like. That's going to be very important in this film. Okay, so first exercise, I want you to play half a measure of a simple rock beat and half a measure of 16th triplets on the snare. Okay, so we're talking one and two and three triplet and triplet, four triplet and triplet. One and two and three triplet and triplet, four triplet and triplet. Sounds like this. Okay, now that you got 16th triplets happening, alternate sticking just on the snare drum, we're gonna talk about the pattern that Aaron plays on the kick, okay? When we count three triplet and triplet, four triplet and triplet, we're counting four groups of three. Three triplet and triplet, four triplet and triplet, okay? But the way Aaron voices it, he plays three groups of four. Okay, you with me? So the three groups are right, left, right, kick, and then that again, right, left, right, kick, and then right, left, right, left. Okay, so it's 12 notes total, and he's playing three groups of four. Okay, so the trick to this, Phil, is that when you play four note groups, your brain goes, one E and a, two E and a, but no, it's not that. You're playing three triplet and triplet, four triplet and triplet, okay? But you're playing, instead of one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, you're playing one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, okay? So um, I'm gonna play that real slowly, uh, and, and the pattern is just gonna be on between the snare drum and the bass drum. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna play half a measure of the groove, then I'm gonna play the two beat long drum fill. Do it slow, and then I'll speed it up.
Okay, so just on the snare drum, that sounds pretty bad, you know? Um, Aaron actually played this fill three times in the song, um, and you would never know it because each time he plays it, he plays it differently on the kit. He orchestrates it slightly differently. Um, another way that he plays it is the first group of four, snare, 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 kick. The second group, small, 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 kick. And the third group, medium, medium, floor, floor. Again, snare, 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 kick. Small, 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 kick. Medium, medium, floor, floor. Okay, I'll demonstrate that right now, slow and fast. Even better, right? Okay, and then my favorite one that he does, he goes small, small, snare, kick, and that again, small, small, snare, kick, medium, medium, floor, floor. Small, small, snare, kick, small, small, snare, kick, medium, medium, floor, floor, crash. Okay, that one sounds like this. So, I don't know about you guys, but that stuff just really turns me on because it sounds really complex, but it's not that hard to play. You know, as long as you're able to really keep that three triplet, and triplet, four triplet, and triplet pulse in your head, um, you know, physically it's not that difficult to play. It's tough to play it, you know, right on time though, so make sure you do this with a metronome, you know, to keep you honest, okay? So that's one of the many great fills that Aaron Mellergaard played on uh, Sayonara Love and uh, the rest of the CD. I mean, there are just lots of crazy uh, fills on the Loopified CD by Dirty Loops. So check it out if you can. And um, as always, I want to let you know I'm a drum teacher. If you're in the Buffalo, New York area, please send me an email, let's hook up. If you're not in the Buffalo, New York area, I, I love to do FaceTime lessons. Uh, if you got an iPad, we can really do lessons very easily uh, or Skype lessons. Um, so once again, if you're out of the area and you wanna contact me by email, that'd be great. I'll uh, make sure I put my email up on the screen again. Um, and one other thing I'm, I'm offering is uh, if you have a favorite drum lick or drum groove and you like this format of lessons, contact me. I'll transcribe the groove and I'll do a YouTube tutorial for you, okay? Um, it's not gonna be free because it takes a long time. And my camera guy, Rich, who you can't see, he costs money too. But um, I'd be happy to do that for you. And um, so just shoot me an email and uh, we'll talk. All right, so enjoy.